The FBI is joining the investigation of two Kansas mothers who vanished on a rural road in Oklahoma more than a week ago. The news comes as friends of Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly begin to speak out. They tell us it's getting harder to stay positive as each day goes by and that the two women aren't as the two women aren't found. It's like a black cloud is over the top of us and and you know we want to know that they're okay and they're going to come back but you know as the days roll by it's just getting harder and harder to um, stay positive and keep the faith and it's just hard. The women were driving in rural Oklahoma to pick up Butler's kids when for some reason they stopped. Their SUV was found on this deserted road, which as you can see, it's a, from this drone video here, it's remote and it's rural. Since our crews have arrived, they have seen no signs of a search for these women. No canines, no command post, no grid search. But that may all change soon now that the FBI is involved. News Nation correspondent Laura Engel joins us now live from Oklahoma City. Laura, you just spoke to an Oklahoma private investigator. What did she tell you? I did. You know, we've been in a text exchange for the last few days, and she was the person that I reached out to before we headed out to the Oklahoma County area, uh, the Texas County area, where all of this took place. And she was the one to tell me to be very careful in this very remote area uh, to kind of leave a plan with people uh, because this is so remote. There are no, you know, cell towers. There's no cameras anywhere. Um, and so I asked her about specifically what she thinks happened to these women. Listen. I believe that the uh, ladies were most likely uh, taken and something happened to them by more than one person or at least with at least a gun that was there to coerce them to leave or to shoot them and then they left. But I believe it was very bad. I think there's a high possibility, I'm not saying absolute, but a high possibility that the family has something to do with it, perhaps the grandmother. Uh, the uh, uh, child's father or associates of the father, the grandfather, people involved that were in a bitter custody battle dispute that perhaps didn't want to lose custody. Yeah, and we've been hearing about this custody battle for Veronica Butler's kids uh, this entire time. Of course, we can't confirm it because the OSBI uh, will not tell us more than they're just searching and continuing and will give us an update. Um, and to your point about not seeing a, a grid search or anything in the area, uh, the only thing that we have seen are a couple of volunteers uh, going around this area, being careful, uh, looking for any signs or clues for these women. Elizabeth? What do we expect to change now that the FBI is involved, Laura? Yeah, I, I confirmed with the FBI today, and they told me only that they are providing resources. And they kind of hesitated when they, they wouldn't tell us much more about their involvement, other than to say the OSBI is the lead, we are providing resources, more to come. So, you know, I got the sense that there is more to come. Hopefully it will be in a matter of days. Uh, but I do want to also mention that I had a very brief conversation today with the husband of Jillian Kelly. Uh, I asked him for an interview. He said that they're not giving any interviews at this time to please give them space and privacy. We also had a text exchange with the mother of Veronica Butler. Same thing, not ready to talk. We also spoke uh, to locals. Many people don't want to go on camera. People are pretty fearful uh, right now of speaking out out about anything that's going on with this case, I spoke to one woman who now misses her friend Veronica. Listen. We're all wondering what's going on. They're not telling us anything either. As far as I know, they're not telling family anything. Is there any chance that they could be somewhere that we don't know of, that we haven't thought of, that they haven't looked through? I pray there is. But I can't answer that, probably without crying. All right, so we stand by and we wait and we still talk to people in this area. Again, the news of the FBI is good and we'll wait for that word from the OSBI, hopefully very soon. Elizabeth. All right, Laura Engel reporting live from Oklahoma. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.